Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Plan. Today we talk about a paper which shows that NMN can help with mesenchymal stem cell therapy for heart damage. Our second study looks at how freshly brewed dark roast coffee helps protect our DNA, which I'm very happy to hear as I do like my dark roast coffee daily. Though I'm careful to finish drinking it before 1pm, as our third paper shows that getting less than six hours sleep increases our risk of dementia. And finally, we look at whether red light therapy is safe and effective at rejuvenating the skin of your neck. We did talk about this in an earlier newsletter, but my wife and I have not been using it recently. We may go back to it now. First, a disclaimer that in this newsletter, we are sharing some news items and papers that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. First, we would like to give a shout out to our supporters who are very generous to buy us some coffees. It encourages us to continue to share information on ageing research. Thank you so much for your support. Here is the study which looks at boosting mesenchymal stem cells with ghrelin and NMN in therapy for damaged aged hearts. Let's have a look at it. We won't go into great detail but there are a couple of things to cover to help in understanding the study. The paper looked at ischemic reperfusion injuries which is when blood flow is cut off to tissue and then returned. If this happens for too long, the tissue can die from lack of nutrients and oxygen. This is known as an infarction. When it happens in the heart, it is called a myocardial infarction. Mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, are stem cells which can differentiate into a number of tissue types. What we are interested in today is that they can form heart muscle and so help repair damage to the heart. MSCs are used to stem cell therapy in ischemia reperfusion injuries in the heart where they can be used to regrow damaged tissue. However, MSCs are not as effective in the elderly, so they are looking for a way to precondition MSCs to work better. In the study, they caused a heart injury in an aged rat, then treated them with either MSCs preconditioned with ghrelin or unconditioned MSCs. They also injected some of them with 500 mg per kilogram of NMN at the beginning of the recovery and after 12 hours. The ghrelin preconditioned MSCs reduced the area of damaged tissue, the infarct size, and improved the cardiac function. It also restored the mitochondrial function. Combining ghrelin preconditioned MSC treatment with NMN augmented the effect on the damaged area and the mitochondrial function. All of these effects were removed if the autophagy inhibitor chloroquine was added, showing that the action depends on autophagy. In the summary, they say that ghrelin may serve as a promising candidate to improve MSC-based heart therapies and that NMN serves as a way of boosting its effect. Here is the paper on coffee. Consumption of a dark roast coffee blend reduces DNA damage in humans. Results from a four-week randomized controlled study. There were 50 men and 50 women in the study. The intervention was to have a daily drink of 500 milliliters of freshly brewed dark roast coffee against a glass of water. And on the last day, blood was drawn and the level of DNA damage assessed. The authors looked for DNA strand breaks and saw that these were decreased by 23% with a very good p-value of 0 0.0012. And the effect was not sex specific. The authors say that the results show regular consumption of dark roast coffee has beneficial effects on human DNA integrity. So I am happy to continue with my morning cup of organic French roast. So let's jump from coffee to sleep. Here is the study showing an association between sleep duration in middle and old age and the incidence of dementia. Sleep dysregulation is a feature of dementia, but it remains unclear whether how much we sleep prior to old age is associated with dementia incidences in old age. The authors looked at the Whitehall 2 study, which is a longitudinal study of British civil servants. There were 7,959 participants, of which 521 were diagnosed with dementia, and a 25-year follow-up. What they found was that persistent short sleep duration for people in their 50s, 60s and 70s was associated with a 30% increased risk of dementia, and this was independent of sociodemographic, behavioural, cardiometabolic and mental health factors. Here we see the data graphically, where the optimal sleep seems to be between 6.5 and 7 hours. 
And here is our last paper, which looks at the use of LED for neck rejuvenation and its safety on thyroid glands. LEDs, mostly in the red and infrared, are attracting attention for their anti-aging effects. Although no adverse effects have been reported, there are questions on how they could affect secretory tissue. The study aimed to assess both the safety and efficacy of using a home-use LED for neck skin rejuvenation and whether there was any impact on the thyroid gland. So just as a quick reminder, here is the location of the thyroid in the front of the throat. They saw no significant changes after 16 weeks of using the LED. Evaluation using the Lempo Wrinkle Scale and Global Improvement Scales showed significant improvements after 16 weeks of daily application as well as 8 weeks after discontinuation. Biomarkers for the skin such as hydration, elasticity and density also showed significant improvements. So their conclusion is that the LED device was both safe and effective. Here is a device that was used specific to the neck area and the measure of wrinkles on the neck including a 3D image from, the, from Antera which analyzes the wrinkles. Next in our event corner we have one event which is hosted by AFAR, the American Federation for Aging Research. The topic is the power of sleep and it is on May the 25th which is Tuesday next week. The speakers include Drs. Constance Fung and Brendan Westover. The link to the registration page is in the description. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and will speak to you again soon.